Welcome back, Odoers. Today, we're talking about how to create product kits using the Bill of Materials feature in the manufacturing app. What is a kit, you ask? Well, have you ever purchased a product you had to build yourself? I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Maybe you bought a desk that you had to assemble and spent the rest of the night fighting with your roommate or significant other about whether the legs are screwed on correctly. Well, that product is known as a kit. A kit benefits manufacturers since they only have to worry about purchasing or producing the required components and packaging them together. Odoo allows you to add kits to other bills of materials or bombs, which is useful if the item in the kit are used to manufacture a variety of different products in your catalog. All right. Let's jump into our database to see how it all works. Let's say we run a personal computer business called Cal's Computers. Here at Cal's, we sell ready to use computers as well as computer kits that customers can assemble at home. To create a kit, we need to start by configuring a bill of materials or bomb. I've created a bomb ahead of time, so I'll open that by navigating to the manufacturing application, selecting products, and then bill of materials, and then selecting the computer essentials kit bomb. This kit contains three essential elements used in every computer we sell, a power supply, a computer case, and then a cooling fan. In the bomb type field on the right here, I've selected kit. This means that whenever this kit is included in a manufacturing or delivery order, it gets broken down into its individual components. Now let's click on products and then products again, then find the computer essentials kit. You'll notice on the on hand field, we have 100 units of this kit. This is despite the fact that we haven't actually created one of these kits yet. How can that be, you may ask? Well, the one on hand for a kit always defaults to the number of kits that can be created with the quantity of components on hand. Since we have 100 of each component on hand for 100 computer cases, 100 cooling fans, and 100 power supplies, we can create 100 total kits, so the on-hand count defaults to that number. Now, for this particular kit, we sell it to customers, so they can build their own computers. We also use it to build computers that we sell fully built. Let's see an example of each of these workflows. First, let's sell a kit to a customer. I'll jump over to my sales application, click New, and in the customer field, I'll select our old friend Jim Joe Kelly. Then I'll go ahead and click on Add a Product. And in the Order Lines tab, I'll select the Computers Essentials Kit in the Product field. All right, everything looks good, so I'll click Confirm to turn this RFQ into a sales order or SO. After doing so, you'll notice the kit is still the only product listed in the Order Lines tab. This is what the customer sees when they receive a copy of their SO. However, the workers picking the components of the kit need a little bit more information than that, which is where the delivery order comes into play. I'll open it now by clicking the Delivery Smart button at the top of the page. On the delivery order, the kit is broken down into its individual components. This tells our warehouse workers that they need to create the kit by picking each of these components and putting them in the same package. Once that's done and the package has been sent, they just need to click Validate to complete the delivery order. Pretty awesome, but what about using a kit during the manufacturing process? Well, one of the really cool things about kits is that they can also be added as components to bombs or other products. In the case of our Computer Essentials Kit, we use all of the components within it in almost every computer model we build. So instead of adding these components to every computer bomb individually, we can just add the kit. To see what I mean, let's jump back into the manufacturing app. And we'll go ahead and select products and then build materials. And we'll go ahead and select our example bomb, Turbo Computer. For this bomb, I've actually added two different kits to the components tab. The Computer Essentials Kit contains all the basic components we use in each computer model we sell. And then the Turbo Computer Kit contains all the components specific to our Turbo Computer product. With both of these kits included in the bomb, we have everything we need to build our Turbo Computer. Now, let's see what happens when we use this bomb for a manufacturing order, or ML. To do so, I'll click on Operations, Manufacturing Orders, and then click on New to create a new ML. In the Product field, I'll select our Turbo Computer.
Once I do, the Components tab automatically updates with all the components needed to build the computer. As you can see, the kits themselves are not included here, only the individual components within them. And the best part is I can continue using our Computer Essentials kit to configure the bombs for different computer models. For example, if we wanted to start manufacturing a basic computer product, all I would need to do is add the Essentials kit to the new bomb along with the other required components or a kit that contains them. And just like that, you've made it to the end of another amazing tutorial. You now know how to configure kits, sell them to customers, and use them in manufacturing orders. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you next time.